What's going on everybody? Thank you guys for clicking on this video. If you don't know who I am, my name is JC Starbody and I'm a sophomore here at Illinois State University. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about my personal thoughts on this college. So firstly, I just wanna say that uh, I've been doing a lot of thinking on this video. Um, I did a day in the life at Illinois State last year. If you wanna go ahead and check that out, it's gonna be in the description down below. But in this video, I'm gonna be talking about basically my personal thoughts and some things I think you guys should know about the university as a whole because that's some things that some people left some comments on about the day in the life video. So I'm hoping to answer a lot of those questions within this video. Firstly, I wanna talk about uh, the college as a whole. Um, Illinois State University is in Bloomington, Normal, Illinois, like right in the middle, uh, about two and a half hours south of Chicago. Um, and it's known for being big and small at the same time. So basically what that means is that Illinois State has roughly around, roughly around 22,000, like 24,000 students, but the campus itself is not huge by any means. I think it's like, um, like, like a six mile radius or something like that. But what I mean by that is like the quad area is like where all the classes are based around and then you have like your housing next to it and then where I live which is Cardinal Court it's like a mile and a half walk but it's still considered on campus. Um, but I'll get into that later in this video I'm gonna try keeping this under 10 minutes um, so next I want to move on to uh, the classes basically um, classes here at Illinois State, I would say, are easy and hard at the same time. Uh, depending on your major, uh, you're going to get different major classes, but at the same time, you're still going to have to take the same gen eds if you're an incoming freshman or sophomore or whatever. Uh, so, like, I'm in History 104 on Latin America or something like that, environmental health and physics and all this stuff, uh, and I'm a business management major. So... Uh, you're still gonna have to take classes that you don't really want to take, but it's gonna help you get those credits to help, you know, get you to graduation. For me though, uh, I think classes are uh, a little hard just because of all the the work that comes with it. But I mean, it's college; you're gonna have a lot of work. So, depending on you, uh, if you're willing to do the work and willing to put in the time and effort and focus and get everything done, you shouldn't have a problem, especially with the gen eds. Uh, they're meant for you to get a good GPA, especially moving into your harder uh, major classes. So do good in your gen eds. Choose ones that kind of interest you. I made the mistake of choosing ones that I thought would interest me, that I had no idea about, like sociology and stuff I'd never taken before, and it killed me. Um, but yeah, I mean, you learn, you learn from your mistakes and that's why I'm here on YouTube talking to you guys, trying to make sure uh, that I prevent those for you. But uh, moving on, I'm gonna go on to like the on-campus housing and off-campus housing basically. If you're an incoming freshman, you're gonna have to stay at one or three places. Uh, firstly, you got Watterson Towers, which is like the most known for this campus. It's like the biggest building between here and St. Louis and Chicago or something like that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's I personally think that's an awesome spot. Secondly, you have Hewitt Manchester Towers and then you have Tri Towers. Tri Towers is where I lived last year and personally I think it's, it was great. Uh, the food there is awesome. I'll get into that here in a minute. If you're an incoming freshman, I recommend you looking into Watterson first. Preview, if you guys sign up for Preview, you will have to stay at Hewitt or Manchester, so you already get a feel for that, but uh, Watterson's got the bigger rooms, um, and it's closest to campus, Camp campus as in the quad where all the ca all the classes are, um, and then tries the farthest away, but uh, once again, I think the food there is the best, and you're with like all the athletes, basically. So that kind of puts me into my next step, which is talking about the food in general. Um, I'm gonna roll a clip right now of what I got to try last night when I filmed for this video. I got there around 9.30, so I went to the grill. Didn't get to get the best thing, but I still wanted to show a clip for you guys. Uh, there's a lot of options at both dining halls, Watterson Dining and Tri Dining. There's only two of them. Tri Dining, its benefit is that it has like a hibachi grill where you can go and like uh, get like 
I don't know if you've ever been to like a bungee grill, but like chicken or steak and stuff like that with like noodles or rice and then a bunch of veggie options. And then they have the grill and stuff, but a uh, benefit of getting Waterson is that you have like a Chinese buffet there, um, you have burritos, etc., or burritos express, whatever it's called. I've never been to one before other than in the dining hall. But uh, those are two of the big key things, and they have like a whole big gluten-free thing in uh, a bakery. So. Uh, Watterson's fit for more people. That's why it's got more options. If you're a simple guy like me, um, you know, getting like a hamburger and fries, it suits me and there's pizza and stuff. So you got a lot of options here to try. Um, so personally, I think that's a lot better than Watterson, but if you live at Watterson Towers, that's gonna be the quickest and easiest route for you guys. Moving on to like opportunities at Illinois State, there are so many opportunities. Um, as a freshman, I didn't take very uh, a lot of the opportunities presented to me, but moving on to my sophomore year now, um, I do a lot more things. You can get presented with a lot of things. There are so many RSOs here on campus. Like I'm from a smaller town. My high school had 300, 400 kids in it, so I was kind of scared coming to a big campus and didn't do a lot of things my freshman year. But going to my sophomore year, getting more comfortable here, uh, I do a lot more things. Uh, I played on like a flag football team. I joined a business fraternity. I was gonna do floor hockey again like I did last year, but um, there wasn't enough teams to sign up. But I'm still like doing more and more things. Like went to like a bar and dance and stuff. Diving into like fraternities and stuff, ISU's got a huge, huge, huge fraternity, sorority life, Greek life in general. Party wise, if you don't go do like house parties and stuff and don't hang out with your friends a lot, fraternities and sororities are like an easy way to like go and get into parties and whatnot. But if you're not in a fraternity, you can't go to like fraternity parties. So just keep that in mind. I'm not trying to persuade you guys to join one or anything. I'm just saying if you guys like to go out and have fun, uh, have a few drinks, whatever, um, fraternities are the way to go for you guys. Uh, secondly, uh, diving into more opportunities and stuff, Illinois State has a very, very good program for helping you getting jobs and stuff. So like especially accounting majors, business majors, teaching, nursing, whatever. Uh, there's like mentors here on campus that can help you uh, reach out and find potential employers. I personally don't take big like like risk on that just because I am a small or business management major, entrepreneurship, so I wanna do my own thing. But for you guys, if you guys are looking for a really good paying job, a bunch of people in my fraternity are like getting $80,000 right out of college, so like, it's there, you just have to go out and do it and take risks, so that's good. Um, you guys just take all the opportunities you can get when you get to ISU, that's the most helpful thing I can uh, explain to you guys. Go out, get out of your comfort zone, and hang out with friends, like just do it as much as possible. Diving into like the part two of my video here, I wanna talk about my personal opinions on ISU. Uh, first off, I just wanna say that I don't want to like persuade you guys not to come here, to come here, whatever. This is not like a promotional video by ISU by any means. I just want to kind of let you guys know how I feel and maybe you guys might feel the same way or you can just totally ignore me. It's whatever. I'm not the biggest college person just to start off with. Like I wish I would have went to like a two year community college and then try to figure out what I was going to do. but. I'm already here, sophomore year, about a year and a half in now through college, so uh, I gotta figure it out fast. ISU is a great campus. I think it's awesome. I think I recommend it to all my friends. They know that I tell them go to ISU. I think it's a great school. One big downside it is very expensive to come here. Like my loans are like twenty six thousand dollars a year. Um, you know, the meal plan, you're living in your residence halls, whatever it may be. Books are expensive. Everything at ISU is expensive. It's in Illinois, it's gonna be expensive. It's just whether or not you're gonna pay it or not. That's just a downside I see. And then living in apartments and stuff, it's, it can vary from like $500 to like $1,000. So once again, it's if you're willing to pay it or not. But that's some of my personal thoughts. I think we have a great campus. There's a bunch of things coming. Um, they're having this whole like renovation plan that they're building all these new things here on campus. They're adding a bunch of stuff. So in the next couple of years, this place is probably going to be looking very good. Not to say it's not already, but uh, I like how they're expanding it from like a smaller campus and trying to add more uh, 
you know, exciting things. So that's very good to hear and see. Moving on to the last part of the video, I wanna to talk to you guys about, like I said, I'm trying to keep it as short as possible, just keeping it informative for you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far, but I wanna talk about if you should come here or not. So kind of like I said with my personal thoughts, if you are like me and you don't know what you wanna do, but uh, you come from a smaller school and you wanna dive into a bigger campus, uh, I would recommend you not to do that. That's what I wanted to do my senior year. I came 300, 400 kids in my high school. And I was like, oh, 25,000, it's awesome. Let's do it. I'm gonna dive in there, I'm gonna meet everybody. I'm gonna be the most known person here. And I know a few hundred people, like that's awesome. But like, you know, I don't know 25,000. So I wish I would have went to like a community college just to, you know, get my gen eds done, figure out where I wanted to do in my life. Uh, because currently I still don't know. I want to own my own business. I want to go do my own thing. I want to do YouTube, but you know, it's just nothing's rolling for me right now. Uh, if you're in that same kind of situation, go to your local community college. Go to one a few miles away, like um, go to one of like 30 or 40 miles away. Uh, you know, get away from home for a little bit. Do your thing. I think that's what I wish I would have done. That's just some of my personal thoughts. Now, looking on a brighter side, if you are looking to get a great job out of college, this is this is the spot for you. Illinois State's got a very good graduation rate, very good job rate. You're almost guaranteed a job from Illinois State. A lot of employers look here. There's career fair, job fairs, anything you can think of. Uh, you are most likely to get a job if you put in the work and uh, make yourself you know, unique and known. So that's some good things about this campus. Like I said, there's a lot of new things coming. The people are awesome. Uh, if you're from Chicago watching this video, you guys represent this place. I I mean, I get made fun of because I'm like, oh yeah, you're from Juliet, no, you're from Chicago. But for me, I'm from the South. So like everyone around Chicago, you guys are all here. So um, you'll have a lot of people you know here, that's good. Um, at the same time, you want to get away from some of those people, but it's big enough that you won't see them every day. Like, I have like five people from my high school that go here. I see them once or twice a week. Moving on to uh, what do I rate this school? One out of ten. I would say uh, I've been doing something. I'd say like a seven, seven and a half. I uh, think it's a great school once again, just not for me. So um, I'm still going to finish it out. I'm going to do whatever it takes, but uh, you know, I'm just. For you guys, it's seven and a half, eight, you know, it's a great school. If you have other choices, you know, come take a visit. They have great programs where they take you around campus and show you everything going on. So come take a visit, you'll see more of it. Like I said, I made a day in the life video. If you wanna check that out, do that. It's gonna be in the description below. Also, a part two will be posted here in the future. Uh, let me know if you guys are gonna be wanting to see that anyway by smashing that thumbs up button, leaving a comment, letting me know. I uh, really do appreciate that, guys. To wrap this video up, uh, some key points are that I do enjoy this school. It's just I'm not the biggest college person, so don't take that into offense. Um, I'm just trying to make a very informative video for you guys about Illinois State. There's not many out there, so I hope this does help you guys. Um, and secondly, like you'll feel at home here. Um, it's home away from home. It's a smaller town. But at the same time, there's lots of opportunities. So I do recommend it to you guys. But, you know, look into it. Come take a visit. Do whatever it takes. And uh, I think you guys would really enjoy this college. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash that thumbs up button for that part two of Day in the Life. Uh, plus, I got a lot more videos coming here on campus. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. And uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.